Hmm. It's looking a little bit rainy. Radar says it's going to rain as well, so I'm just tossing up whether to go for a ride or not. Good morning, by the way. Just uploading today's video, today's vlog, and I'm eating cherries. Should I go for a ride, Figsy? Should I go for a ride? Can you tell me? Can you tell me? I want your opinion, Figsy. It looks cold outside. Should I go? What do you think? I know, you want me to stay home, don't you? You want me to stay home and have doggy time? So I just uploaded the video, just checking out some of you dedicated fruit bats who are in there nice and early. Hey, Wildfire, Wildflower Alley. Marissa Corma, hey. Hi, Mary. I'm so glad that you guys and girls are loving these new vlogs. I'm really happy to see that. So it just, when I see that, it makes me like really pumped to put another one up. So thanks for the feedback. Should just put them on my main channel as well. You are funny, thanks. <laughs> oh, Freely, you should do a live stream for the new year. I've really got to learn how to do that. I'm a little bit, mm, a little bit hopeless when it comes to technology, but it sounds like fun. So I'm just munching on these strawberries, had a couple of packets. Are we going to have about 10 packets? Things is going out the back. It's really dark in here. What are you doing? I am working on a, a little e-course, which I'm sure will me today. Make, we're just doing some filming. We're filming uh, HD quality stuff. Basically, like, I can't fuck up e-book, but in a video course style. So I'm just wrapping up the outline there, course outline. Okay. And stay tuned for that, folks. Harley, the rains are here. The rains are here. It's raining everywhere out there, doll. Hey, Fruit Bat. So I didn't end up going for a bike ride because it is pissing down rain right now and it gets slippery on the road and it's very dangerous, so we say no to riding in the rain. I'm just making my data read. I had some cherries this morning and, whoo! The cherries are, let me just say, very cleansing, okay? They can be very cleansing. They move things around, move them out the door, out the back door quite efficiently. If you've ever had a large meal of cherries, you will know what I'm talking about. And if you don't, then have a large meal of cherries and we will be on the same wavelength for sure. Um, but they were beautiful. They were beautiful, beautiful dates. I mean, cherries, so I really enjoyed them. So we got our dates here. Just the usual story, the usual dates. And... I don't know if you can hear Fixie crunching in the background, but some of you ask what she eats. And she's crunching on this at the moment, Biopet Vegan. I don't know, in America you probably don't have this, but this is what we have in Australia. Maybe you do, maybe it's from America. No, it's not from America. Um, and sometimes we do dumpster dive for meat for Fixie. Otherwise she gets really, really skinny, okay? And it's just, it's not healthy. And she's a very, very picky eater, so we sometimes have to do that. So she's not a fully vegan dog. Like, that has never been our aim, to make her, like, a fully vegan dog at all costs, like, anything like that. No, it's just to not support the meat and dairy industry with our dollar, and that's what we do not do. We don't like to put money towards that industry on any level, including feeding our pets. So I hope that clears that up for a few people. Um, and something else I was thinking about was... Yeah, someone left a message, like a comment on my video about my binge eating and they said the only reason I doubt this story is that there is that there is a refusal, a refusal to show pictures from the anorexic bulimic days. You're claiming you were super skinny and unhealthy on drugs, but you only show the 20 kilos more pictures. You should show skinny on drugs and 500 calories pictures to compare how healthy skinny versus unhealthy skinny. Um, or else we just have to take your word for it. It's impossible that you're taking drugs for five years and you had no pictures whatsoever okay so i understand some people are apprehensive to believe my story and you know they they want to believe that i'm lying for some reason i just want to say that this is my story and this is what happened like recalling some events you know some like little details i might be a little bit fuzzy about because it's years and years and years ago but i can assure you this is my life and this is what happened and um this person said you have no pictures whatsoever. I actually have pictures, but you have to remember, this was before digital cameras, okay? This is during the Kodak moment, like cameras. So you take the photo, you get it printed out at the Photoshop, and then you get it back. And I do have these photos, but I have moved several times 
over the past you know 10 years or more and some have been misplaced but I do have some still at my mum's place so I definitely will get those photos to you eventually I'm going back to Queensland back to near where mum's living soon like next year so that should happen then and you know there's people out there who say oh you know I freely did this and that and you know, try and be experts on my own life. And it's just funny to me. It's because I know my own life. I know what happened. Okay, and they try and find flaws in my story and see, she's lying and this and that. And it's kind of like, ugh. It, it doesn't worry me, but it's, I feel sorry for them who kind of like fish around and try and find you know, faults in my story and, and make me out to be a liar. I feel sorry for people who have that as a goal. And like a lot of you fruit bats don't, of course, like I love you guys, like you've just, you've been so supportive and amazing. But there's always a few little bad apples <laughs> or undercarved apples, um, you know, getting in there and trying to stir up crap and that's fine. That's just how the world goes. And when you put yourself out as a public person, you know, on the internet, you're going to get criticism. So if you've got a YouTube channel, you've got to expect that. That is going to come with the territory and that's just part of people learning to trust you, I guess. And I'm thinking of making a video soon about my weight gain, weight loss story, a bit more in detail because I haven't really done it in detail because there's a lot of detail. You know, my weight before this lifestyle is like this, just all up and down all the time. And in my latest video on my, um, sorry, in my latest, yeah, latest video on my channel, my main channel, I've made a video showing that just how consistent my weight has stayed over the past like four years from 2010 to 2014, like halfway through 2010 or so. Being pretty consistent and you know, not many people can say that who are promoting a certain lifestyle. And you don't see celebrities all the time showing their bodies, you just see them in posed photos. Just posed photos, lighting angles, Photoshop, all that stuff. You don't see them doing videos because their, their weight does fluctuate so much because they're on these fad diets, they're starving themselves and you know, they don't want to show that. They don't want to show that progress in a video on a channel. So you can see clearly um, in the, on the latest video on my channel that my weight has stayed pretty much the same. You know, not a lot of fluctuation, which is a good testament to this lifestyle and the fact that I am not getting huge on fruit, on dates. Dates do not make you fat. Bananas do not make you fat. Fruit does not make you fat. Veggies do not make you fat. I could go on all day about plant foods. Yes, I could. I can make a song about that. I can make a rap song like bananas and dates, yo. Yo, you gotta eat as much as you can. You gotta forget about the calories. Just eat till you're satisfied. Feel so good. Oh yeah, bitches. Yeah. Okay, so I think I'm, <laughs> I've got nearly about 20 here. I am going to fill this up. I'm gonna blend it up as usual. You don't need to see that, I don't think, because you've seen it 5,000 times before. But yes, I will have this and then we're gonna go, I think we're gonna go into the city, maybe look for a tripod because we do need a tripod even though I'm just filming on the computer here and it's fine like this I think it's pretty good but we need a tripod as well so we're gonna do that and maybe go to the everything vegan store so we might see you on the road so I'm very excited I just got a parcel from my friend Zoe in Philadelphia she sent me some real fruit jewelry oh I love this stuff and let's have a look inside oh that is just isn't that stunning, fruit bats? I love this stuff so much. I love this fruit jewelry. Living for the fruit jewelry. You're gonna see it on my chest. I know some of you hate it, hate great fruit jewelry, um, but I love it and I'm gonna keep wearing it. And this is a beautiful, fresh one. The other one was starting to rot a little bit. Admittedly, it was starting to look a little bit festy, but this one is fresh and beautiful as you can see and I'm very excited to wear it. Woo! Comes to your own rider. Hey. Hey. Hey, look at this delivery I just got. Look, check it's it out. Some steroids. Some steroids. No, bro, no. Look, oh. isn't that beautiful? Mm. Ah, stop. Oh, don't even, pre no, don't pretend. Seriously, it's so fragile. Yeah, but it's like, I can't eat it. What is it? Uh huh, is that a bend in it already? No, it's, it's natural. Bottom. It's organic. Well, that would have, oh, hopefully that is. Don't try it. No, 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 no. Okay, that was a mistake showing Doreen Ryder. Some cars, man. Some cars, bro. Aye. Right. Time to carve the fuck up. You need to keep games. your hands off my fruits. Okay? Keep your hands off my fruits. Let's do it. Let's get this Porsche going. Alright, let's go to town.
best shop in the world. Got some new biscuits in. Might have to try them. Mm, no thanks. You don't like them? I don't like them. Yeah, I've tried similar to that. It's just. Mm. Hi! <laughs> say hello to YouTube! <laughs> hey YouTube! Hey Fruit Bat, say hey Fruit Bat! Hey Fruit Bat! <laughs> How are you going? Good, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, the place is looking very, very nice and full. Thank you. Very organized. <laughs> Did you have a good day the other day at the um Yeah, farm? it was really good. Spent most of the time cuddling the animals, so I didn't really socialize Did much, you? But, yeah. yeah. Oh, it was I had... good to see everyone. It was really nice. Yeah. So, they just got in the my Mayoko's? Yeah. Mayoko's Creamery Cheese, vegan of course, non-dairy, organic, handmade in California, folks. That's really cool. And we've got other cheeses here as well. I don't generally have them. I might have them on occasion. But I go for the higher carb foods. Okay, so here are some of the goodies I got. Um, braised tofu. I generally get this for Figsy because she really, really likes it. And, you know, I'll just give her a little bit with her food, mix it in so she likes to taste more. I've got some fruit jellies. These are vegan fruit jellies, free from artificial colours and flavours, and I don't have them all the time, but sometimes it's handy on the bike to take them if I don't have dates or something, I'll take some little jelly babies, and it's just so good that they're not made with gelatin. Oh, thank fruit for that. You don't want to be eating that crap at all, and it's quite amazing to think that lollies have like pig's hooves and stuff like that in them. It's foul. And um, Dr. McDougall Asian Entree Thai Peanut Noodle. Come fix! Ooh. Oh, Fig's nearly wiped out then. Nearly done, Fig's nearly done. Hang on, this is a private moment. He's a little playful little child today. They're huddling right now. They're like, should we swoop or should we let them pass? Okay, so we're going to Asian noodle, Thai peanuts. And there it is in there. And as you can see, it's just like a broth, kind of like very watery. It's not, um, really seasoned because I put hardly any of the sachet in and that's gonna be super yummy oh okay fruit bats we got a beautiful lettuce here I'm gonna wrap my little potatoes in these lettuce cups so potatoes are going in I just use the same um, sheet day after day because you don't need to have a new one each time it's fine so you'll see those soon nice and kind of modern healthy though there's some of the chiplets and we've got some lemon juice to squeeze over the top. You gotta try these chiplets folks. Curry powder, some chili, coconut sugar, some lemon juice. Okay, so here's the chiplets in some better lighting. Sun's going down. It looks very golden. Oh, I can't wait to get into these. 